The future of rural Wales is in the hands of Welsh Government. If they continue to do as they have very sensibly done so far, maintain the single farm payment until such time as it can be replaced realistically uh, by uh, the conservation uh, payments. Uh, they're in a total and utter mess in England. Farmers haven't the slightest idea what they've coming in, got coming in, and that's why, of course, uh, the English government or the government have lost those two seats, the last one, of course, in Shropshire North, uh, to the Liberal Democrats. You can't go into a farming uh, community uh, and leave them in a state of uncertainty and hope that they'll vote for you. They won't. Uh, so, as long as Welsh Government continue to maintain the single farm payment uh, and uh, sort things out, unfortunately we are not well served by natural resources Wales, uh, a body for which generally people haven't got a great deal of time. It was far more sensible when they were in their individual portions, that is to say the Forestry Commission, uh, the, uh, uh, the rivers are thought of the, the, the water side of it. Um, uh, but this amalgamation has not proved successful. And it, it should be returned to what it was. Uh, and appropriate expertise allowed to grow in the individual fields. Um, the whole question again of um, I was a member of the Planning Committee of Paris County Council for over 20 years. We're faced now where uh, housing is proposed, but uh, there are so many and great uh, objects in the way of, of, of housing, largely uh, in, in no small measure due to uh, the fact of uh, newts, bats, badgers, you name it. Now, there is, a, there is a place for new bats and badgers. I don't dispute that in any way. But I think the pendulum has swung too far in that direction. And um, we, we need, I think, to take a somewhat more realistic approach. Um, having said that, uh, there is an awareness, I think, on the part of Welsh Government that farmers are there principally to produce food. And without food, then we're going to be in very considerable difficulties. Is, is the farming community a strong one? Certainly in Wales, yes. Um, very much so. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't think any political party would deny that. Because the heartland of Wales, uh, it, it is that heartland, that agricultural heartland, that supports the language and the culture. Now, um, uh, my Welsh is, 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 I mean, I was educated in England, but uh, my mother, who was a teacher of English, actually learnt Welsh in order to better teach England. And, uh, you know, um, I'm very fortunate in that um, uh, both my daughters-in-law are first language Welsh, and um, my uh, granddaughters are being educated through the medium of Welsh. Uh, so Welsh is coming back into the family after it has been absent for yeah. uh, well, a couple of generations. How is the state of the, the general community of Wales? I, I, I think in, in, in pretty good order, we, uh, really. <laughs> uh, the, uh, and it'll continue to be that, as long as I had a considerable amount of uh, immigration from the other side of Offa's Dyke. And uh, they, um, <laughs> there's a, a sort of cynical view uh, of the people who come in. There are those that say, of course, they, 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 uh, they come in in a Rolls Royce and they go, they go back on the train. Uh, that, that, I think, is pushing it too far. But uh, as long as there is a sympathetic approach, there is uh, a willingness to uh, 
get involved with cultural activities, uh, get involved with the language, etc., etc. Absolutely splendid. Um, but um, I, I remember my predecessor, uh, elected member of San Martin, saying, "Well, of course, sometimes, sometimes they come they come here, but are they necessarily buried here?" And that, that, you know, there's, a, there's an element of truth in that. But uh, certainly, um, uh, the other thing, of course, is that immigration does tend to push house prices up. But, um, uh, no, on the whole, I'm not too dissatisfied. Uh, I, I think we're, uh, at the present moment, things are okay. Mm. Seeing, seeing that um, <coughs> industry, uh, electronics and uh, mining and uh, steel and iron have gone yeah. uh, pretty much. Uh, what, what do you think the the future of Wales is tourism? Well, certainly tourism is going to play an increasingly important part. Yes. Um, is that a good thing? I don't know. It's not a bad thing uh, at all. But um, certainly, I think the. Um, uh, I'm no expert on, on uh, uh, really very much knowledge at all of uh, the current uh, uh, schemes on, on development of industrial or semi-industrial or communications or anything like that. But um, certainly I think we can, we can more than hold our own in tourism and um, then I, I, I think uh, there is, for example, a very successful small business in Clanrotid, which is concerned with electrical, uh, on the electrical side of things. And um, the, uh, I, I think encouragement of small businesses, too, is something which needs very much to be done. Um, and uh, fortunately, I think, I think uh, they are being encouraged. Um, so we, we just have to have to wait and see. It'll be fundamental. Can I ask you? You, you just invested in Mudvai. Yes. So, uh, what do you know about the physicians of Mudvai? Uh, I missed the lecture that was given recently on the physicians of Mudvai. Um, I'm appalled to say that I I married into a medical family, and the first time my wife had heard of the physicians of Mudvai, I think it was a matter of months ago when we when we bought uh, a scheme of vowel. But um, uh, no, uh, that again is, is, is an absolutely fascinating subject. Uh, the, um, um, uh, I, was, uh, I went to an English public school. It's noteworthy, in fact, that the first chaplain of that school uh, was uh, from um, from Malvai, from uh, where His Royal Highness Prince Wales now lives, well now has an estate. Which they, did you go to? I went to Marlborough. Right. And uh, the first chaplain there was instrumental in, in, in the Marlborough College being established, was in fact uh, um, a, a Griffiths Williams fr from uh, what in those days was known as Thuan Wormwood. But that, that is now of course the, the Welsh home uh, of His Royal Highness. Are you a neighbour? Yeah, well, well, yes. There's a farm in between us, but we do. Uh, we, we, I can, I can, I can look over towards uh, his, his farm. Yes. Is he, is he good for the community? Very much so. Is he part of the community? Very, very much so. He was instrumental. I mean, we're sitting obviously in the uh, community hall in in in, in Madhva, uh, which uh, through local effort and, and uh, voluntary help, really is 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 is, is uh, an absolute first-class indication of what can be done. And Prince Charles was very much behind that and, and still is, yes, absolutely. I think volunteering has become a, a very large part of uh, everything. Oh, very definitely, very definitely, yes, yes, yes. And um, uh, he, um, uh, no, he's always interested to, um, uh, <laughs> he was our Colonel-in-Chief, of course, in the Royal Measurement of Wales. And then when we amalgamated with the Royal Royal Fusiliers, uh, the Queen, who was Colonel in Chief of the Royal Fusiliers, took over. 
and uh, we were uh, we were very sorry to lose him because he was a great well still is a great friend of the regiment.